The current situation in Pakistan as regards the religious minority position has evolved over time. The protection of minorities has not been given a priority since 1948. That's one year after Pakistan was formed. Violence at partition reduced the non-Muslim population in today's Pakistan from 21% of the population to around 3.5% today. These include Ahmadis, Hindus, Christians, Baha'is, Sikhs, Zoroastrians, Parsis, and Kalash, among others. Then we get to Islamization, which is where we started seeing legislation against minorities in Pakistan. The most infamous, of course, was um, you know, the law which turned the Muslim Ahmadis into non-Muslim Pakistanis, uh, thereby being robbed of the ability to practice their religion, to practice their faith openly, and to be put in a minority situation where they therefore lost a lot of their rights as well. It's the only place in the world, by the way, where Ahmadi Muslims have been termed non-Muslim. Um, we started differently. The founder of Pakistan, Qaeda Azam Muhammad Ali Jinnah, was of the belief that all citizens are equal and religion was not the business of the state. For him, faith was a personal matter and had no business in politics. He said, minorities to whichever community they may belong will be safeguarded. Their religion or faith or belief will be secure. There will be no interference of any kind with their freedom of worship. They will have their protection with regard to their religion, faith, their life, their culture. They will be, in all respects, the citizens of Pakistan without any distinction of caste or creed. This was in July 1947. When Pakistan was born on 14th August 1947, the azan that day was issued five times on loudspeakers by Shias, Sunnis, and Ahmadis in the new country's capital, Karachi. The Muslim call to prayer no longer sounds from Ahmadi places of worship. The community has been declared non-Muslim through an amendment to the Pakistani constitution. Ahmadis are forbidden from describing themselves as Muslims, from using the term mosque for their places of worship, and from issuing the azan before prayers. Furthermore, Ahmadis risk a stiff jail sentence for violating ordinances that forbid them from any act that might identify themselves as followers of Islam.